Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Panda Photographer. I'm in Eugene, Oregon. Sorry for the little echo you, that you hear. I'm in the bathroom, or yeah, part. But I'm in my hotel room at the Eco Lounge, and it's a hotel that is west from downtown Eugene, but in the White White Eater District. Well. I got here on Monday, checked in Monday and Monday night actually, and I got freaked out about what I saw in this bed. But that's not all. But before we even start this video, I'm not sponsored. I'm not here to defamate the hotel. I'm here to enlighten the hotel as someone that's stayed in plenty of hotels, write articles. A member of the hostel, high U.S. hostel organization. Dirty sheets and dirty blankets are unacceptable, especially through these COVID-19 times. That is unacceptable by any hotel standards. Your staff are supposed to be aware of these issues. So here are the issues, ladies and gentlemen. If you look closely, you can see there are stains on this uh this uh cover you can see where it's not very clean so I've been sleeping in well the first night I slept on the floor near my stuff then I slept in the chair and this is why maybe why I have a shoulder problem right now and I'm a photographer and I need to do my job I'm a documentarian so it's affected me so I slept pretty wrong but Within the sheets, you can see there's spots, and it doesn't look very clean, as you can see. And there's like women hair. Yes, there's women hair on this bed. Makes me wonder, did they actually clean it before I checked in? Now, as I said, we are not here to defamate this business. We are here to give them some guidance so they can correct these issues through COVID, because this is how COVID spreads. I decided back in Portland when I was visiting Portland Hostel that I was going to apply to a health inspector job because some of these establishments need to know how to clean sheets in a kitchen in an establishment. But as you can see, look at that. It's like, it's pretty gross and not very clean. I'm not sure if that blood, not sure what those stains are. I just refused to sleep in it and not only that I looked underneath this I thought this was clean but turns out the pillow is dirty there was women's hair on it you can tell there's dirt it's not clean clean that's not why you can tell there's dirt so yeah it's like it's a two star for a reason look at that that's that's inappropriate, in my opinion. Uh, sorry that, that I'm overexposing, but as you can see, it's dirty underneath here. I didn't take it all off. I didn't want to bother. But this is what else that bothers me. Now, when we go into the bathroom, and we take, when I was coming in here for the very first time, there was a dirty towel sitting right there. Actually, I put it over there. Obviously, someone was using this room before I was. And you can see there, dirty tub, not clean at all. As you can see it. Uh, it's a two-star hotel for a reason, but for $64 my first night, no. No, because I can get better deals for $64, and everyone knows that. And get five star accommodations, right? High International Hostel, Hilton, any other hotel. So when I came here five years ago, I stayed at another hotel, really, really good. I forgot the name of it. But yeah, the only problem about this hotel is that it's not close to the Amtrak train where I need to be. I have to walk 1.1 miles to it. Second, dirty sheets, dirty blanket. You just can't take risk. Not only that, 
when the water fills up in the tub in the bathroom you're you're actually literally standing in your own fecal matter let me show you what it does it's gonna fill it up you see how it's filling up give it a moment it's gonna go up to like right here you see how it's built up that's not good why would you want to stand in your own fecal matter or when you're showering that's disgusting and that's the problem but anyway guys this is just my take on this to this economy lounge uh, in <sighs> listen it's better than nothing but still staff need to be aware of public guidelines that were issued by the state of Oregon the state not city state of Oregon everybody has to apply by federal and state laws so please just clean the sheets properly or train your staff if you want me to I can train them it's not hard to use the proper soap and and cleaning supplies has this room been really sanitized that's the question I don't think so that's why the first day I sanitized the crap and down this room I went to the store bought a bottle of sanitizer but with that said I'm the panda photographer everyone and as a photographer and videographer and all my gear this is unacceptable due to COVID times but with that said, this has been a review on the Eco Lounge and, and Eugene. Please do subscribe, like, and share. This video is not sponsored, so please take this video with a grain of salt. With that said, eat, seek, photography, report, and repeat. And I'll see you guys in the next video.